Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Excuse me, my voice is going out. I've been giving uh, presentations all weekend here at the USCC Expo and it's starting to uh, reveal its effects of talking six hours a day. It's uh, been fun though. I wanna say thank you to everybody that did meet. It's been my pleasure to meet you and we'll see some of y'all again today. So I wanna get into this because I don't have long and this is an update on what has gone down in New Mexico. We all know this, should know this, and if you don't, you need to spread my first video, which is posted above, as well as this video, because this is an update of sorts of what's gone on in the 24 hours or so since I did my video yesterday. First off, I'm gonna uh, say that what the governor of New Mexico did, Michelle Luan Grisham, what she did by banning the Constitution by removing people's civil rights because of a made-up health emergency. I said it yesterday, I'm saying it again, it's blatantly unconstitutional. It's blatantly criminal. In fact, just one, I'll give you two, one of the federal laws that this woman uh, violated was a deprivation of rights under the color of color, yeah, under the color of law. It's a civil rights violation, and it's not one count. She'll get as she should get as many counts of violating this law as there are residents of Albuquerque, as well as was Bernalillo County. She's a criminal and should be arrested. Simply trying to impeach or simply trying to sue, or simply going on the newspaper and saying this is bad or talking about it on Twitter or Facebook or even here on YouTube is not enough. This, something of this magnitude has never happened in the history of the United States of America. One incident that happened that was close was what the New Orleans Police Department did after Hurricane Katrina in seizing firearms from people. Why? Because tyranny. Why did this happen in New Mexico? Because tyranny. Even David Hogg came out and said this was unconstitutional. And that says something. I've never supported anything he said, but he's right in this issue. Where is the Department of Justice? Where are they? They have a sitting governor who has removed, or attempted to, she doesn't have the power to do this, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but her fiat has, in her mind, removed a constitutional right for feelings, and that's not how it works. Where's the Department of Justice? Why have they not taken her in cust into custody? Why hasn't the President of the United States come out against a sitting governor who has suspended what this country stands for? Where are they? Uh, kind of lets you know what the plan is. Where are the local district attorneys? Yes, I know that the one in Albuquerque yesterday came out and said, we are not, process uh, not processing, we're not prosecuting any of these violations. The local, uh, the local chief of police in Albuquerque, we're not following this. The local sheriff, we're not following this. Well, they don't wanna be sued personally, but they know this is unconstitutional. Where is a district attorney in that state where is one of them with stones to stand for the rights of the citizens in that state? Where are they? All it takes is one, one district attorney to have enough intestinal fortitude to do what his job demands or her job demands and to file charges and arrest the governor. Where? Where is a district attorney with stones? Now the governor said that it'll be on the state police to enforce this because obviously the sheriff and the uh, chief of police for the city have said we're not doing this if any troopers have the balls to try to lock up an american who's following their the law and carrying openly or concealed under this executive fiat uh, they should be arrested, too, by the chief of police in Albuquerque or the sheriff of Bernalillo County. Let's draw the line here. 
All we need is a sheriff with stones. We have one sheriff that said, we're not, we're not going to uh, charge people with this. We're not going to enforce this. Why? Financial reasons. He's doing the right thing because it's the constitutional violation. But obviously, he, didn't, he said he didn't want to put his deputies in ways that will increase their civil liability. Where is a sheriff with the balls to arrest the governor? Where? Political futures be damned. The dreams of our employment histories or where we can become, where we can be as a sheriff, can that lead into a political career? Who cares? Do what's right. We need just one with stones, just one. That's all it takes and more will follow. You will have support in this country. I'll tell you what happened yesterday. So there were two lawsuits filed that I am aware of uh, by national groups against the governor. The first one was by the National Association of Gun Rights, and I don't have the file. Otherwise, I would show you some of that. I also spoke with the attorneys of Gun Owners of America. They filed a lawsuit last night, and I'm going to show you a quick excerpt of that here. And I also talked to some other attorneys, uh, and you'll hear me report on some more stuff going forward. If you're interested, you're going to subscribe to the channel to stay in the know. It's right down below because YouTube is not going to show you this stuff, especially when I'm asking somebody who has taken an oath to this constitution in this great country to have the stones to enforce it and to lock up today's version of the King of England in the 1700s. So on the screen now is the lawsuit that was filed by Gun Owners of America and Gun Owners Foundation last night. And I'll read you just the beginning of the complaint. Purporting to respond to recently declared statewide public health emergencies of gun violence and drug abuse, New Mexico Governor Michelle Luan Grisham and the Department of Health Secretary Patrick M. Allen have asserted the unilateral power to suspend constitutional rights and impose what is essentially martial law. To that end, they have promulgated an executive order signed by the governor on September 7th of 2023, and thereafter a public health emergency order signed by the secretary on September 8th of 2023 that flatly eliminate the right to bear arms in public in various cities or counties within the state and meet a convoluted multi-part test for levels of criminal activity. Aware that local authorities have publicly announced that they are unwilling to enforce this clearly unconstitutional edict, they have staunchly refused to participate in the defendant's scheme to deprive their constituents of their constitutional rights. The defendants have ordered the New Mexico State Police to act as a private army of stormtroopers to be sent en masse to enforce the defendant's open and notorious subversion of constitutional rights. There is no defense to defendant's actions, legal, moral, or otherwise. Their actions clearly and unambiguously violate the Second Amendment's protection of the right to bear arms that shall not be infringed and deprive law-abiding gun owners of their only means of self-defense from criminal attack while in public. For that reason, this court must end this unconstitutional charade before the train even leaves the station. To that end, plaintiffs request an immediate temporary restraining order be issued on an emergency basis, followed by a preliminary and then permanent injunction, and also seek declaratory or other relief. Moreover, because there is literally nothing that the defendants can offer as a legal defense to their blatant and egregious constitutional violations, plaintiffs ask that a restraining order be issued ex parte without any opportunity for the defendants to respond or be heard. That means now. Don't even wait for them to respond. There is nothing that they can say that would absolutely tell, tell anybody, not one shred of defense can they present it that would let them do what they did. So I have not read the uh, other uh, filing by uh, NAGR and maybe I'll get that today. We'll see. Uh, but uh, 
I'll, I'll link to this lawsuit down below. It's, it's only 16 pages. It's a good little read. I did it this morning um, because something outside at 4 a.m. decided to beep its horn for a long time <laughs> here in downtown Milwaukee. But uh, it's, it's coming to a head legally. It needs to come to a head criminally. And if this gets to the governor, Michelle, you're a, <laughs> you're a piece of work. And I hope to see you in an orange jumpsuit. And any trooper, any cop, any sheriff who does this arrests a, an American citizen for exercising a right that existed as soon as they were born. Um, Y'all should go to jail too. And I hope it's a wonderful experience for you. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Do not, Albuquerque citizens, New Mexico citizens, do not follow this unconstitutional order. Carry your guns to protect yourself and your community. That is the foundation of what we have. Do, do not get hurt by listening to this governor and putting yourself in a spot where a criminal is going to have their way. Do not make yourself a victim because of this governor. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.